ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு ட்ராவல் வித் சூரி எல்லோ ஸ்டோன் நேஷனல் பார்க் இஸ் வேர்ல்ட் ரெனவுண்ட் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் எப்பிக் லேண்ட்ஸ்கேப்ஸ் யூனிக் வைல்ட் லைஃப் அண்ட் ஃபேசினேட்டிங் நேச்சுரல் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஈச் இயர் மில்லியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் கம் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் ஓவர் தி வேர்ல்ட் டு விட்னஸ் இட்ஸ் ஒண்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார் சம் இட் ஹேஸ் பீன் எ லைஃப் டைம் ட்ரீம் திஸ் நேஷனல் பார்க் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தோஸ் பிளேசஸ் தட் டேக்ஸ் யுவர் பிரத் அவே எவ்ரி டைம் யூ விசிட் த ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் யூ சி த கைசர்ஸ் ஹார்ட் ஸ்ப்ரிங்ஸ் and other thermal features you realize that any photo you have seen or story you heard just didn't do its justice there are tons of things to do in yellowstone national park but in this episode we are going to see top 10 things to do in yellowstone national park grand prismatic spring this is the largest hot spring in the united states The vibrant colors are the result of microbial life along the edges of the hot spring. Get up close to the Grand Prismatic Spring from the boardwalk trail at Midway Geyser Basin. For a jaw-dropping view of the Grand Prismatic Spring, don't miss the view from the overlook. On a sunny day, the colors are so spectacular that it looks like an alien planet. Old Faithful is the world's most famous geyser. For decades, this geyser has been erupting on a very reliable schedule. Eruptions of Old Faithful last between 1.5 and 5 minutes. During this time, the water reaches a maximum height of around 200 feet. Between 3,500 and 8,500 gallons of water are expelled from the geyser. West Tham is a small basin compared with others to the west and most of its geysers have become dormant in recent years but it has the added attraction of being right next to Yellowstone Lake and in fact extends some way beneath with several underwater geysers discovered as recently as the 1990s the basin contains many colorful hot pools and springs steam vents and mud pots and two circular boardwalk trails totaling 0.75 miles pass all the main features bison elk black bear grizzly bear moose and bighorn sheep all call yellowstone home hayden valley is one of the best places to see the wildlife in yellowstone national park This is one of Yellowstone's iconic sites. In fact, it is my favorite. You can drive or walk to the view points on both the north and south rims. Go to Artist Point for the best view. For a little more adventure and exercise, hike to the brink of the Lower Falls. For thousands of years, the Yellowstone River has been carving out this canyon. Norris Geyser Basin is another fairly large collection of geothermal features. A visit here consists of seeing two basins, Back Basin and Porcelain Basin. If you are lucky, you can watch an eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser.
The mud volcano grew on the west side of the road as a one mile loop trail that encounters features like Dragon's Mouth Spring, a small flooded cave where gas noisily pushes aside the water at regular intervals, Mud Geyser, a simmering lake of grey brown water, and Mud Volcano itself, another fermenting muddy pool. If you are driving between Norris Geyser Basin and Madison Junction, take a quick stop to spot Gibbon Falls. Located on the Gibbon River, the falls drop roughly 84 feet in a gradual descent. Three miles south of Norris Geyser Basin, the equally large but generally less active Gibbon Geyser Basin contains several dispersed collection of thermal features of which the most popular is Artist Paint Pots. A group of over 50 springs, geysers, vents and especially mud pots. Mammoth Hot Springs is a large complex of hot springs that is located in North Yellowstone. Hot, steaming water spills out over travertine terraces, making this one of the most unique geothermal areas in the park. Hayden Valley and Lamar Valley are the best spots for wildlife sightings. Bison, elk, black bear, grizzly bear, moose and bighorn sheep all call Yellowstone home. I hope you all liked my video. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will meet you guys in my next video.